I remember meeting you. A musician's oh, melodies may dance. rise from his heart. After the springtime. His lyrics from his soul. And his brother. But it was Ben Kyle's body Same that changed the soundtrack of his life. Little hands. My brain sort of stopped working, is the simplest way to say it. With your mother. Crippled by symptoms, both cognitive and physical. There were many, many days where it was, it was uh, difficult to do anything. A difficult fate for a father of five and frontman of the band Romantica. Heartbreaking and, and gut-wrenching. Let the light go through. And only after 15 doctors and 18 months would Ben learn his diagnosis. Lyme disease. Certainly been um, spent time in, in the woods and been bitten by ticks and mosquitoes. We're one of the highest risk states for tick transmitted diseases. State epidemiologist David Neitzel confirms the findings of a new CDC report showing a significant jump in diseases. As much as three times over what they were uh, several years ago. And revealing Minnesota is a tick-borne infection hotspot with nearly 27,000 cases between 2004 and 2016. Diagnosis and monitoring have increased, Neitzel says, but so has the ticks territory. And with warmer weather, Neitzel says the ticks will only latch on more often. They're actually getting worse in, in, uh, in many respects. I think it's a new season, a new a new awakening, you know, a new level of, of health and wholeness. For Ben Kyle, now controlling his disease with homeopathic therapy means he's soon returning to the stage. Oh. Marking for Ben the beginning of living the hope of his own lyrics. Don't give up, you know, don't lose hope. Ben Kyle's band Romantica plays at the Fitzgerald Theater on Saturday night. We'll have more information on our website. And experts do warn they are tracking new mosquito and tick-borne diseases, which is why taking precautions is key. Randy and Julie. All right, thank you, Carla.